So would you like to tell us about yourself, your name, your title, and what were you facilitating during this symposium? My name is Hung. I'm the senior resident officer at the FAO regional office here, and I coordinate the climate change and resilient work. So together with Bo Damon, my colleagues, we co-facilitated the section on better environment. Um, so about this uh, symposium, what would you say would be a takeaway message? Uh, especially in your, from within your area of expertise. I'm very happy to see I mean, the, the number of commitments uh, coming out from the country pathway for agri-food system transformations, and I'm really looking forward to the translations of these commitment into actions, which is also coming out very strongly from the conference. In a specific area that come out, I think across many sections, not just the federal environment, is climate resilience. And when the countries and participants talk about climate resilience, it's actually back to the way that we interact, interact with nature, with planet. Um, the link between climate issues and the planetary crisis of climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution that we are dealing with, and a lot to do with the agricultural system transformation. And I think that recognition is very high in the conference. So um, what would you say with the future of this region if we are able to successfully have the agri-food system transformation? A kind of ideal scenario that I see is that countries after this symposium is going to formulate the, the kind of like plan of actions with clear indicators to measure how we are progressing with our commitment for agri-food system transformation. And of course the ideal agri-food systems for the regions would be low carbon, climate resilient, also resilient to multiple disasters, and sustainable, yeah. feeding the, the desire of the, of the countries in the region yeah, in terms of achieving the SDG. Excellent. So anything else that you would like to share with us or any message? Well, I think the, the, the symposium is a great opportunity. I think for FAO, uh, particularly as we have been a strong advocate and supporter of agri food system transformation and is so strong in our strategic framework. Now the symposium actually chart the way forward for us in terms of bring this topic into our strategic framework implementation. Thank you very much. Do you that you would like to add anything else to the interview? I'm very happy to hear a lot about the indigenous people and food systems uh, in the symposium. And it just doesn't come out just from the better environment, but also better productions and better nutrition. And the fact that the indigenous people and food system have been so resilient, I survived for thousands of years, and, and I mean, providing nutritious food as well as protecting the environment, give us a lot of like questions. Do we know enough about them? What is it that we need to do to make sure that we preserve, promote, and bring them into the agricultural system transformations? And what come out also very interesting is that food system, indigenous food system, is not just about food. It's about generations of interactions with the nature. It's about culture, and really the need for culture-sensitive policies to promote indigenous people and food systems. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.